Hello and welcome to this episode of the English Idioms series. Today we're looking at the idiom to be on track. So we'll start by looking at the definition. Then we'll focus on pronunciation, thinking about connected speech. And we'll have a couple of examples to finish. So thinking about the meaning of to be on track, our dictionary definition from Longman is that you are likely to achieve the result you want. So if you think about the track as the path towards your goal, you are on the path. So you're working towards what you want to achieve. And we can make a negative of this by just adding the word not to not be on track. So thinking about pronunciation, uh, there are two things to note with this idiom. It's quite a short idiom. Um, the first thing is, as always, that weak form of to, which can be pronounced t with the schwa, to be. And then we can have that linking y sound between the words be and on because b ends in the e vowel and then we've got o beginning with the vowel. So instead of be on, to make that I have to leave quite a pronounced gap, which of course in connected speech is not very fast at all really. So that to speed it up, we add this linking y, be on, be on, to be on track, to be on track. And just a couple of examples then. Is your science project on track? We're on track with our projected sales figures. So we're changing our be verb in this idiom. Is your science project on track right now? We are on track right now. We can also use past and future as well. And it's the be verb that we would change. So I wonder if we will be on track next year. Uh, we weren't on track last month, for example. So that is to be on track. You now know how to pronounce it in connected speech, what it means and how to use it. Well done. So click to subscribe if you find these videos useful. And of course, you could check out the playlist to have a look at some other idioms. Thanks for watching and have a great day.